on any given Sunday morning, you'll find most churches in Georgia packed with the faithful. And one of the first things a visitor will notice is that there are no pews or chairs in most Georgian churches. That's because, unlike typical church meetings, Christians here stand during their services. We say that uh, or are like candles because they stand before God in churches. It's uncomfortable to stand for two hours, three hours in a row, but we, we choose to. That was the case during a service at Holy Trinity Cathedral in Georgia's capital of Tbilisi. As thousands stood listening to their nation's most famous citizen. His name, Ilya II, and he leads one of the oldest Christian communities in the world. The history of the Georgian church dates back to the first century AD, when the apostles of Jesus Christ entered Georgia and preached the gospel. At 83, this elder statesman has been affectionately dubbed the most trusted man in Georgia. He's the spiritual father of Georgia and a wonderful example of what it means to be a humble servant of God. You've probably never heard of him, but here in Georgia and surrounding countries, Ilya II is more famous than movie stars and politicians. Patriarch Ilya II is the most respected figure in Georgian society. In fact, his favorable poll numbers are over 90%. In an exclusive interview conducted at his private residence, Ilya II, whose official title is Patriarch of the Georgian Orthodox Church, spoke with CBN News about his country's deep love for God. The church's past is intertwined with the people and history of our nation. In the 4th century AD, Christianity was officially declared as the state religion. That makes Georgia one of the oldest Christian countries in the world. Tucked between the Caucasus Mountains and the Black Sea, more than 85% here say they belong to the Orthodox Church. And while many neighboring European countries have seen religious adherence fall, Christianity in Georgia is witnessing unprecedented growth. We are like the little spiritual oasis in the middle of this region. Patriarch Ilya II was installed back on Christmas Day 1977, and since then he has managed to single-handedly revive the Georgian Orthodox Church. He took over at a time when Christianity was under severe persecution from the Soviet government. The Bolshevik invasion in 1921 witnessed the unmerciful destruction of churches and monasteries across Georgia. Sergo Vardorzanitse is a professor of Georgian history. There were 1,500 churches and 1,600 clergymen active in Georgia. When the Patriarch was installed, there were only 50 churches and barely 70 priests remaining. He initiated a range of reforms to rebuild the church, including an emphasis on young people. He reached out to the youth, encouraging them to attend church and to consider the priesthood. He also took steps to make church services more engaging and easier to listen to. The church showed signs of revival in the late 1980s. Men like Ione Gamarekeli, impressed by the patriarch's humility and dedication to service, decided to join the priesthood. The patriarch stretched out his hands to the people and the people responded. He preached God's word and people turned to God. Then came the Soviet Union collapse in the late 90s, which led to Christianity's renewal. The changes have since been profound. Now there are more than 2,000 active churches, with new ones being built every year, like this massive structure rising on the outskirts of Tbilisi. Also, more than 3,000 people have joined the priesthood, serving the spiritual needs of Georgia's nearly 4 million people. It has been said that the Patriarch inherited a church that was severely persecuted and covered in shroud. Now it is a living body. Nearly three hours after arriving for the service, a slow and frail Patriarch Ilya II finally makes his way through the throngs of worshippers that have gathered to hear him speak this Sunday morning. CBN News has granted unprecedented access to film as hundreds of men, women and children line the ornate halls of Holy Trinity Cathedral to receive a prayer or special blessing. The Patriarch always says that all that's been achieved during his reign is because of the Lord's will. 
After decades of religious repression, many are grateful that the church in Georgia has not only survived, but is thriving, thanks in part to one man's desire to bring his nation closer to God. Many kind achievement has been accomplished, and I thank God for letting me undertake such endeavors for our nation.